This is the story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I is the glory of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. 26 men who lived to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. Ride on, ride on. Twenty-six men, carefully chosen for their courage and ability, formed the Arizona Rangers. Fame and public acclaim was not their objective. This is perhaps why the story of these twenty-six men has never been told until now. April 1901. Jack Rawls, a killer tougher than Leavenworth, broke loose and shot his way across the plains in a desperate running gamble for freedom. He'd made it into the territory of Arizona. And now the only barrier between him and the border was a last chance bunch of lawmen called the Arizona Rangers. Rawls must have doubled back and headed for the river. We'll spread out and see if we can pick up his trail. is gone. The rest of the men will be here in minutes. You know, unless my ears are playing tricks. You sound just like Ben Howard. Am I right? This is Mark, boy. I'm only traveling under the name of Raw. How's Mama Jane and Jeb? Well, if this don't beat all, I was on my way home to visit you and the folks, and well, here you come to meet me. Bless me, Ben, you look fine. <laughs> Lawman to boot. Why'd you come back? Now, we'll go into that. Uh, I'm going to take your horse, Ben. You can tell your boys I'll outfox you. We'll meet at the ranch. I'm turning in, Mark. Oh, now, Ben, don't be that way. Uh, look, after all, I, I'm your flesh and blood. <laughs> Ben? Well, Rawls outfoxed me. I had him covered, but I guess I got careless. He slugged me and bolted from a horse and was running before I take a shot at him. Which way did he light out? Toward Jerome. You ride back with Peters to Wickenburg and get a wire off to the sheriff of Jerome. We'll keep on Rawls' trail. Anything new? Jack Rawls. The killer? Nobody else. Says he's riding a sorrel mare, dressed in black pants and gray shirt and a gray vest. 
If it comes riding in here, there's allowed to be some shooting. I'd better pick up a couple of deputies. Do as I say, but move slowly and cautiously. Go down to my office and bring back some of my men. Just rode in. He's in the saloon. Wait for a jiffy and I'll have three or four more boys here. That's the quickest way to alert him, Sheriff. I'll handle it. You mean you're going in there alone? Rawls has never seen me. Tall glass of cider, ice cold. As it gets any hotter, I'm moving to Prescott. Swap your smoke for a light, Mister. All right. Thanks. All right, Rawls, you're under arrest. Well, now that's right, neat, friend. Over to headquarters. Come on. on me like that since you were a rooster. <laughs> How's Dad? Oh, about the same. I notice he's taken to sleeping more during the daytime lately. Good for him, I suppose. Aren't you on duty, son? No, I'm on the way back to headquarters now. What are you brooding about, Ben? Oh, this or that. Found your girl? <laughs> I wished I had. No, I found myself thinking about Mark. What if he got out of prison? Parole, I mean. I'd like for that to happen, son. I'd like to know he deserved it. Well, even if it happened, he couldn't come back here. Folks would talk and Dad would find out all about him. No, he couldn't. Well, I gotta get going, Ma. I'll see you soon. He'll be along soon. Did you get Rawls? He got away. Got away? How? Better not talk about it. Understand that Rawls is a real bad one. I said I'd rather not talk about it. brought in my horse. You must have got Jack Rawls. Sure did. Took him to Sheriff Wells at Jerome. Did he say anything? Like what? Well, about the fight and how I got my horse. He didn't tell me anything different than you did. Don't be upset about losing your horse, Ben. Even a ranger's human. I'll fill you in on Rawls later. Captain, if you don't mind, I'd like to ride over to my place. 
Anything you'd like to talk out? No need to talk. It's all on paper. This just says you're resigning. My enlistment's up in less than a week. Man's got to have a good reason to give up a career, Ben. You've got a good reason? There's nothing in the world that can't be worked out if two men will just sit down and talk about it. I'm sorry, Captain. My mind's made up. Will you stay till I get a replacement? Thanks. Something was eating on Ben, Captain. He was barking and growling like those hound dogs outside. Well, I don't understand it. Ben has a fine record. Volunteer in Teddy Roosevelt's Rough Riders, commissioned an action at San Juan, two citations, joined the Rangers in 1901, cited for efficiency and bravery, and next in line for promotion. I've been on a lot of assignments with him, but I don't know why he'd want to resign. Must have a personal reason. Yeah, that could be. Ben's parents live over near Wickenburg. I think I'll ride over and visit with him. When the fellow has troubles, my mother usually knows about it. Take care of things. Yes, Captain. something for you, sir? My name is Reining. Captain Reining? Why, Ben's told me so much about you, I feel as though I know you. Nothing's happened to Ben. Oh, no, Mrs. Howard. Mind if I get this wash up? Don't mind at all, if you let me help. Well, thanks. What's on your mind, Captain? Do you know any reason Ben would want to resign from the Rangers? Resign? When did he tell you that? Today. Funny. When Ben was by here this morning, he didn't say anything about his resigning. Ben was here? Yes. Yeah. Gang! You got copies? That's Ben's father. Had a bad horse accident many years ago. At times, his mind is... I think you'll understand. Dad? This is Mr. Reining, captain of the Arizona Rangers. How do you do, Mr. Howard? Howdy. Captain, huh? <laughs> Say, you must have been in service with my son. Well, I, uh... And maybe you met him at San Juan. I understand he was one of the greatest leaders. Yeah, too bad he died so young. Dad's talking about Mark, Ben's brother. They were both in the service. Mark was killed with the Rough Riders in Cuba. Oh, I'm sorry. But you can be just as proud of Ben. He's one of our best rangers. Uh, ben was a nice boy, oh. Say, for a minute, you know, I thought you was talking about Mark. Now, that boy was a driver. Ambitious. Say, he's a gone places. Well, oh, but Ben, Ben never had any adventures in him. Uh, say, l let me show you. Uh, just, Jane, get that yes. uh, billfold. I'll show him a picture of Mark. Go on, show it to him. He was commissioned in action, you know. He won two citations. I'd have been very proud to have known your son, Mr. Howard. Well, I'd like to stay longer, but I've got to get riding. Nice to have met both of you. Well. You come back any time you want to. And if you can tell us beforehand, I'll stew a chicken. Thank you. You can count on it. <laughs> Goodbye. 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 Come on, Dad. Let's do like the doctor said. Let's get all the rest we can. Yes, all right. I want to get a picture for the Jerome Weekly. You learn anything more about the prisoner? Where are you taking him? I'm taking him to the district marshal, so Uncle Sam can pick him up. Well, move over a little bit to your right. I need the light. Little more. There, there, there. Now, how about a little smile? Take a picture, Sims. Smile, Sheriff. You never told me you had a brother, Ben. 
You didn't list him among your kin. I met your mother and father. My brother was killed in the war. Yes, I know. Died quite a hero. Two citations in the battlefield commission. Would you like me to read your war record? You know about Jack Rawls. Yes, I do. And it isn't a good enough reason for you to quit the Rangers. Rawls just didn't happen to take my horse. I let him take it. I could have stopped him. I had him square in my rifle sights, and I just couldn't pull that trigger. I think anybody could understand that, Ben. Do you? Yes, I do. You were living a lie for your father's sake. That's it, isn't it? Mark's trouble started just about time Dad had his accident. We didn't think he'd pull through, but he did. Mark went to jail, but I told Dad he was in Central America. And your mother's in on it too, then? When the war started, Mark got a pardon to join up. He got in trouble with an officer, shot him, was court-martialed and sent to Leavenworth. And you made a hero out of him with your medals. This is urgent, Captain. Well, you handed me a paper once, now it's my turn. Sheriff Wells would be alive today if I'd have just pulled that trigger when I had a chance. I think it's time you forget a brother and remember a killer. Travis, tell Hill to alert every range in the territory and have every man here ready to ride immediately. Yes, Captain. We'll use the hounds and take them to Jerome. Rawls Trail starts there. That should do it. Well, Captain, what are your odds on catching this killer? 26 to 1. We've got every ranger in the territory alerted. tracking riderless horse. These hounds can pick up the trail again, Captain. Captain, you mind if I follow a hunch? No, go ahead.
Corporal, put these in your saddlebag. Yes, sir. Ma, get in the house and lock up. Why? Oh, there's a killer named Rawls loose. He's desperate and... Don't lie to me, son. It's Mark. He broke out of prison, Ma. Killed two men over in Jerome. They're after him. I see. He might come here for help. Don't let him do that, Ben. Please. It'd kill Dad. We're doing what we can, Ma. Now get in the house. I'm going out back and scout the approach to the river. Go away. Oh, now, Ma, you've got to help me. I said go away. Quick. Please. I don't like to look at you. Ma, they're going to kill me. Now I need a gun. You're going to come and get it with me. No, come you on. can't go in the house. Dad's in there. I'll go unless you get it for me. I'll get your gun. Dad keeps one in the tool house. Mark. Oh, now, Ma. I'm not going to turn you loose to do any more killing, Mark. I'd sooner kill you myself, if I have to. Ma, if you shoot me here, it'll kill Dad and you know it. Now, you give me that. That's all the ruckus. Somebody get shot? Who's that? Just a killer, Mr. Howard. His name was... Jack Rawls. Dan. This is a matter for the rangers. Come on. Let's get in out of this hot sun. Twenty-six men who rode the Arizona Territory. 